Hello, this is Joe Morasco from Coda Bears. Today, we'll be covering updatable business activity queries. So what is an updatable business activity query? An updatable BAQ is simply a BAQ in which you define specific fields as updatable rather than read-only. This can be useful when you not only want to provide your users with a specific list view of the data, but also want them to be able to modify the data directly without having to navigate to the entry programs that contain the data. Today, for our example, we'll be creating a simple BAQ to view customer contacts. Then I'll show you the process of making the BAQ updatable. Within Epicore, we open the Business Activity Queries under System Management, Business Activity Queries, and Business Activity Query. Using the new icon, we create a new query. We'll give it a name. Customer contacts. And a description of customer contacts. We'll share this query. And we will hold off on marking it as updatable at this point. On the Query Builder tab, we need our tables. So we will grab our customer table as well as our customer contact table. The join will be automatically created because Epicor knows the relationship between these tables. On the customer table, we're going to add some table criteria. So I'll add a new company equal BAQ special constant. And click special to select which constant you want to use. In this instance we'll use current company. Since our query in our query we want to search by customer, we're going to add another criteria with cust ID equal to a specified parameter. You click specified here to define your parameter and then define. We will give this a name. Our parameter is cust ID. You can select other options as needed. Click save and close. Now the cust ID parameter is available to be selected. Next, we need our display fields. For this example, we want our customer name and then our customer contact name, function, phone number, address 1, 2, and 3, city, state, zip, country, and finally, whether they are inactive or not. On the Analyze tab, we can test our query and ensure that we're getting valid data. For the customer in this example, we'll use Dalton. And we see that Dalton has five contacts. But at this point, it's nothing more than a regular BAQ and nothing is updatable. So to make this updatable, we go back to the General tab and click the Updatable checkbox. Now we have additional options available on the Update tab. You have the option to allow a new record to be created or to allow multiple row updates where you can edit multiple rows and then update them all in one shot. For this example, I'll turn that off. Next, we define which fields we want to be updatable by clicking the updatable checkbox. We want the function, phone number, address fields, city, state, zip, country, and inactive fields to be updatable. Next on the update processing tab, we select how the update will be done. In this case, we'll be using a BPM update, and we need to select the business object that we'll be using. 
customer contact is what we'll select here. And that brings in all of the fields from our query and whether or not there are any key fields that are required to make this updatable. And in here we see custom, ship to num, and contact num are all required fields, so they must be included in our query. So back on the Query Builder tab, we will select our custom, ship to num, and contact num. On the Analyze tab, you'll notice the test button is now grayed out as we made this updatable. To test an updatable query, you click the Get List button. A warning will pop up at notifying you that this may update data in your database. Click Yes to continue. Our parameter pops up. We'll still select Dalton. Click OK. And now we see the same query that we had before. The only difference is now you can double click on a line and you can update the fields. Click OK to submit your changes but not yet update the database. If you click off of this line, you'll notice this entire line is yellow, indicating that it has been changed, but not updated in the database. To update the record, we'll click the Update button. Again, you'll get the notification that it may cause a data update. Click Yes to continue. The yellow line has gone away, and our data has been saved to the database. And that is all it takes in this very simple example of creating an updatable BAQ.